Today we're going to talk about uh, Asian eyelid surgery and I'm going to discuss a hot, top, a hot topic in the field which is uh, what, which is better, the incisional method or the suture method. The um, incisional method has uh, several advantages. It's a very precise operation. It's got a very low breakage rate. Um, however, the problem, one of the potential problems is that the procedure is surgeon dependent, meaning if it's a good surgeon, you're going to have a good result. If it's a bad surgeon, you're going to have a bad result, and it's going to be a little bit difficult for the patient to um, decide. The suture method um, is uh, a supremely natural appearing procedure and uh, it's got a very quick recovery time. One of the uh, criticisms of the technique, however, has been that uh, it may possibly be prone to breakage. Uh, what I'm going to discuss today is a unique uh, method that we use, which is called the DST, or the Double Sutures and Twisting Method. This method is uh, special because it's got a very low breakage rate due to a special uh, technique uh, involved in the uh, technical aspects of the operation. The breakage rate for this operation is about 1% per, per year, which is very, very low. Here is an example of a 27-year-old patient who had a DST procedure about four days ago. And you can tell that there's some very slight bruising, but she's very uh, presentable and she can go back to work. The double suture and twisting suture method is a very specific type of suture method that improves the breakage rate that's been uh, associated with the traditional uh, suture method. The traditional suture method uh, was tr prone to breakage because the sutures would cheese wire through and tear right through the skin. However, with the DST procedure, the breakage rate is reduced because the sutures are interlocked like this, like a chain link fence, and this is, inter uh, uh, this is secured to the tarsal plate uh, which is the deep cartilaginous structure underneath and, and also to the skin. So this locks in the skin very firmly to uh, the underlying lid structures. And here is some anatomy to point out. Tarsal plate is uh, the, identified by the letters TP and that is a firm structure which is going to allow us to secure the skin uh, with uh, the suture method without the, uh, without the fold breaking so easily. Here's an example of a patient who had the uh, double suture and twisting technique, the DST technique, along with a medial epicanthoplasty, which is the removal of the inner, uh, inner fold of skin. And you can see she's a little bit further out with, with uh, almost all of, her, all of her swelling out. And you can see that it's a very natural appearance. Uh, in contrast, an incisional procedure gives you an excellent result as well. Uh, the fold is a little bit more stylized and a little bit larger. So if that's what you prefer, then an incisional technique with an experienced surgeon is uh, the appropriate procedure for you. Here is an example of another patient who had an incisional surgery. She needed incisional surgery because she had some fat in her upper eyelids, uh, which needed to be removed along with a little bit of skin. Uh, here is an example of a patient who had prior incisional surgery that failed. So even though we uh, frequently talk about a suture method failing, uh, in fact, an incisional method can fail as well. And in this case, I was able to correct a prior incisional method with the DST suture method. Now, what is an ideal DST candidate? It's going to be someone with thin upper lid skin, uh, minimal fat, and the brow is going to be in good position. And here's an example of a 26-year-old with those characteristics. And when I describe to you step-by-step step how the procedure is done, this is what I do. The patient comes in and we go over the size of the fold and the shape of the fold. And the patient points out exactly with the wire clip how she would like to have the fold made. I'll then trace it out with a marking pen and then she'll look at it again to verify that that's the shape that she wants. Uh, then uh, we'll recline her, prep her, uh, put in a little bit of local, and then the sutures are placed. The suture part is very quick, takes 15 or 20 minutes. The markings, which is just as important, takes uh, 15 to 20 minutes as well. So you can see the markings are a very important part of the operation. That we showed uh, shows her result at three years, and you can see that the folds are very crisp, 
uh, precise and they, they're holding up over time. Um, here's an example of a patient who had the incisional method and uh, she wanted a more dramatic and larger fold and so uh, we did the incisional method for her. Uh, here's an example of a patient who had excess upper eyelid skin and she required an incisional method to remove the upper lid skin. Uh, I'm using this patient to point out the fact that incisional surgeries are not completely benign. This patient had a prior incisional method and on her left eye you can see that the muscle uh, is a little bit dysfunctional. The eyelid is a little droopy on the left side and it required correction. So I corrected her upper eyelid skin uh, with an incisional method and tightened up the muscle underneath. Um, here is another patient who's a little bit older and she required an incisional method uh, combined with a brow lift to put the brow in the appropriate position. She's about a 40 year old patient and uh, you can see the upper lids look very natural and the brow is in good position. Um, I'm going to show now a, a small clip um, that we did uh, for a news network and um, uh, it goes pretty much the way that we uh, perform the procedure so you can get a feel for what the procedure is like. The man who will perform the surgery is Dr. Charles Lee. Lee is an expert in plastic surgery for Asians. Well, this surgery is to Asians what breast augmentations are to mainland Americans. Back at Dr. Lee's office, Annie is now getting prepped for surgery. First, she's sedated. Next, Dr. Lee measures her eyelids. The top line, eight millimeters above her natural fold, is where Annie wants her new crease to be. Okay, so I'm just making sure that the markings and everything are appropriate. The surgery takes about 30 minutes. Basically, Dr. Lee is using stitches to force the skin to fold, creating a new, bigger eyelid, and in turn, a bigger eye. When I get this uh, stitch buried in there, you'll see that I'm just attaching the internal structures a little higher up. Creating the crease. Yes. When you finish this operation, she's still going to look Asian, and, that, and she'll be grateful that I kept her looking Asian. No one's going to mistake them for being Caucasian or African American. They look Asian. So uh, what we're trying to do is preserve ethnicity and the bigger question is whether the standard of beauty is changing but that's a little bit different a question than uh, are you trying to train, change your race. Two weeks after the surgery we're back to see Annie again. The first thing we notice besides her appearance is that she's happy and confident. Her eyelids are clearly bigger, and with her new eyes, she's doing things she couldn't before, like experiment with makeup. Right. But now you can see two colors. Mm -hmm. I can even put three colors <laughs> if I want. <laughs> Though she feels sexier and more right feminine, now, Annie so says she's still the same person she was before the surgery. I do still look Asian, but with the eyes um, now, the bigger eyes now, I just feel I look better. 